Jeremy, thank you very much. Well, it's been five months in the making and a very difficult grieving process. This morning, the Walmart store where a manager gunned down six colleagues will reopen in Chesapeake. That's right. And during your next visit to the store, you'll be able to honor each of the victims outside of the building. Each of these people left behind family still demanding accountability months later. You can see their faces there on your screen. Our hearts continue to go out to all of their loved ones. In the months since the shooting, the store has undergone a renovation top to bottom. Our Camaria Bray was one of the first reporters at the scene back in November. She's been she's been covering the story since and is live outside the store this morning. Camaria, have you seen many employees going inside? Yeah, Katie and Aisha. Well, although the store opens at 10 this morning for customers, there are several employees that are coming in and out. We actually just heard a message on the intercom system um, for those employees. And I did just talk to um, someone that says that the store is completely new inside. There's new mannequins and bed displays. Um, that person tells me that p some people, some employees are not going in the area area where that break room was. Now the break room was where that shooting happened. Um, that employee also told me that a new break room is placed in a different area from where the old break room was. But I want you guys to look towards the left on the outside. This is where that memorial is for those six victims that died. There are six benches and there's a plaque um, with a message to remember those individuals. Now, yesterday our team was able to go inside the store, but Walmart asked us not to show any of the inside footage until the store opens at 10 o'clock this morning. But we can say that the store looks different inside. We're told there are renovations to the break room where the shooting took place. The store was repainted outside and new signs are placed around the building. Walmart says about 60% of the staff who was working there before the shooting have came back. And the store is also honoring those six victims, as I mentioned earlier, with a memorial outside that has six benches in their honor. And I reached out to the lawyer of Randall Blevins, family. He's one of the victims who died. His family is suing Walmart for $5 million. The family's lawyer says, quote, Walmart's grand plan to reopen the store with fanfare hurts them deeply. And it is quite hypocritical given Walmart's position abandoning the families of those killed and hurt. Now again, Walmart is open to the public at 10 o'clock and there's going to be a ceremony before that reopening at nine. And Walmart has the memorial that was here for those victims for months. Walmart has placed the, those materials from that memorial in storage. Live in Chesapeake, Camaria Bray, 10 your side.